Hey y'all, what's up? It's Rocky P and welcome back to my channel. I have done a new protect- what is this? <laughs> I've done a new protective style. I have reinstalled my Marley twist. I just felt like my hair needed a break. I have been in my head every single week constantly trying new stuff, trying out different things. So I thought that I would finally film for y'all how I do my Marley twist. If you guys want to see like up close and personal how to install Senegalese slash Marley twist, keep on watching. Alright y'all, this one is a little bit more complicated to explain, so I really hope that the visual helps more than I can explain. But I've already done basically 90% of my hair, so I'm just going to show y'all these last little four sections in the front of my head. So I'm going to be able to make four more twists out of these pieces of hair. So on one side, I'm just going to split that in half and get my part all nice and clean and even as possible. going to re-moisturize my hair I am starting on freshly blow dry hair very nice and clean you really want to make sure you do a protective style on clean hair so I'm just re-moisturizing with some shea butter making sure to work it all through since my hair is going to be protected for a few weeks now I'm just going to take a little bit of gel and apply that to more towards the roots of my hair just to make sure that it catches onto the hair better and just smooths down better and then just part that section into two and take two pieces of your Marley hair and place it in the middle of that section. I am using Marley hair, not expressions because I like that the Marley hair is a little bit coarser and closer to my hair texture. So place it in the middle of the two strands of hair and grip each side with the side of your hair. Now twist one side of your hair with the Marley hair in one direction doesn't matter which you choose whichever you choose and take the other side and twist it in the opposite direction so once you twist it, it's going to secure it towards the root that way it's not going to come out of your hair so keep twisting that whichever hair in your hand in the direction you started with and twist it on top of the other half of your hair and continue to twist it in your hand and then twist it on top of the other section of hair i know this makes no sense so hopefully the visual explains better but once you get to the end of your hair you don't have to twist it in your hands anymore you can just regular two strand twist the rest of the way down i'm smiling like it's so easy but I, it's really not so i'm just gonna re-moisturize my hair a little bit spread a little water towards my edges because Water does help with gel and just helping it stay more sleek and smooth down. Just gonna really brush and smooth that on into my hair. Alright, so now just split your hair into two. Place the Marley hair in the middle of the two pieces of hair. Grip one side and twist in one direction and grip the other side and twist in the opposite direction. Once you have that nice and tight and secure to your scalp, not too tight though, you want to twist it on top of the other side of the hair while continuously twisting that piece of hair in your hand and then you'll just alternate and two strand twist as you twist the hair in your hand. Once you get to the end of your hair, you do not have to twist it in your hand anymore. Just regular two strand twist the rest of the way down. To the ends of your hair, if you are using Marley hair, you do not have to burn the ends because the hair is thick and coarse and it basically stays together itself. If you want to burn your ends, you can, but I do not and my hair stays together. For weeks so do what you please so i'm just going to show you all that one more time re-moisturizing my hair adding my gel smoothing that through adding the marley hair to the middle of my hair twisting one side of my hair in one direction the other side in the opposite direction once it's nice and secure and snug to my scalp i'll begin to twist the hair on top of each other each strand This is how you do the invisible root method. That way your hair blends seamlessly with the extension hair. Once you get to the end of your hair, you do not have to twist the hair in your hands anymore. Just two strand twist the rest of the way down. 
This style took me about 10 hours to do all together and that's with multiple breaks in between. So once you get the hang of it, it really doesn't take long to do. Your hands just become used to the motions and gestures of it. And it's just like touching and twisting the whole way. But I will admit that doing the back of your head is a little bit harder just because you can't see what you're doing. But it's all good. You'll get it. As you guys can see, I have a lot of twists in my head. I did not purposely mean to do that. So you can make them however big or little that you want to. Once I get to the ends of my hair, I just cut off the straggly pieces. And these are my final results. Nice and secure Marley twist with an invisible root method. I did part my hair so that I'm able to wear side parts, middle parts, or pull it all the way back. That way I can do my buns. If y'all want to see a video on how I part my hair for Marley twist, just let me know in the comments. But these are my results. I do plan on wearing these for a few weeks. And I really, really liked how they came out, you guys. Let me know if y'all like it as well. It did not take nearly as long as I explained about in my all about Marley twist actually like details about the hair and stuff Go check out that video first if you want to know like what kind of hair I got and how many bags I use Time it only really took me almost 10 hours But that's with three to four breaks in between and those breaks were long So I was like really on a roll this time The gag is I was trying to go for jumbo Marley twist and I ended up doing the same size that I always do I thought adding more hair would make them bigger, but I probably just needed bigger sections to begin with. But it's all good because they um, came out really nice and I did them super quick and fast so that I can go to work tomorrow. So I'm happy for that. But if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I know this video can be really helpful, so I need y'all to go out and share it. I don't never really ask that of y'all. Of course, comment some more protective styles y'all want to see me do. This one I'm probably going to keep in for about maybe like five weeks. I might go to six. And of course, if you haven't, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. We're so close. Or we're not so close, but we're in the thousands and I really want to reach 5,000 friends. Y'all are more than just subscribers. Y'all are friends. I really want to reach 5,000 before I go back to schools. And this video, if y'all shared enough, could probably get me there. So make sure that you subscribe if you haven't yet. And that's really it for this one. I really enjoy this look and I hope that you guys did too. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!